Welcome to Paris 47. The Palais de Villesca is hosting the fashion event of the year, and your target is on site to supervise Cicada security for Russian oligarch Viktor Novikov. Security is high, and the target is likely to be highly suspicious of anything out of the ordinary. He's also sure to know each member of his team personally, so be careful when approaching him. Good hunting, 47. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Hitman video sponsored by RageWorks.net. Today we're going to be doing Lights Out on a Promising Career, which is the accident assassination for the first Sarajevo 6 target. Basically, we're going to be dropping an entire lighting rig on Scott Sarno, aka the director. Unfortunately, this uh, the way this one has to go, it's impossible to get Silent Assassin because you're also going to be dropping it on Viktor Novikov and about eight other people. So you'll notice that I started by picking up the my um, rubber ducky remote explosive from the um, the stairwell. It used to be that you really didn't need that. All you needed was the crowbar you saw me pick up. But you're gonna see they've changed some things in Paris. Now you kind of do need the explosive. So I took out the the cameras there. For this mission, you really don't have to. It's just I'm down here and it's kind of forced to have it. Now this part here involves a little bit of patience. This really is not a hard challenge. So again, just like what I did before in um, Marrakesh to make it a little bit more challenging, I did it uh, suit only. So basically what we're doing here, well, I, I drew some attention here, but it works out because we need to kill, kill some time. And this chick is looking around in those very nicely tight pants. Hey girl, you looking my cute in them jeans. My um, habit of picking up coins almost got me into trouble there. So I fast forwarded it because we got to wait for Sato to come out. So there he is. And I could throw the coin now, but you want to wait for him to talk to a model. This chick that's walking up to him right there. Because after she walks through, walks away, there are fewer people around him. You don't want to take the chance of the coin drawing the attention of someone other than Sato. Where you see that candelabra over there in the corner, that's where you want to throw the coin. And you got to be right on him because he turns so much that... If you're not, you'll wind up doing close combat instead of subduing him. Whoa. You should check it out. Can you go look? So the purpose of taking him out is that he won't take the stage at the end of the, the fashion show. And instead, Novikov will do it in his place. And because Novikov is on stage, that'll bring our target Scott Sarno to the stage as well in the background, but he's, he'll be close enough. Now, basically, when you came out of the stairwell, you wanted to hear the conversation between the guard and the, the uh, model because that'll get them moving and then you can run down this hallway and come out here. But again, they've changed things in France. That guard right there I just passed normally pays you no mind. But if you're not careful right here, trespassing. I mean, I'm not getting Silent Assassin here, but I still, I don't want to be spotted. And as I pass by, I'm like, watch this. I, I start to get spotted again. I'm like, what is going on here? They, they've really upped the sensitivity on the guards. So I fast forward here, climbing up the the um, pipe and shimmying along. And you're going to see why I said earlier that you kind of need the rubber duck now. When you get out onto the scaffolding, which is the standard method of usually going to Dahlia's bathroom right here. If 
47 giving us a little glove love. Gotta love the absolution suit. Now there's the normal guys that are usually walking around on the attic, but look over to the right. That guy has never been there. And if you try to walk right up to the rig, he'll spot you and again, trespassing. I was lost for a while. I had no idea what to do. I said, you know, let me wait. Because, you know, pretty much every guard has some kind of route. He'll walk away from the window. No, he won't walk away from the window because he's watching the fashion show. Ultimately, this worked out for me because it killed time and got me to the point where Novikov does come to the stage. But... I'm just trying to understand why Io put this guy in the game when he pretty much is making something so simple a lot harder because if you didn't take an explosive with you and you plan to use the crowbar to break the winch right there you're gonna have some problems you gotta find a way to distract this guy I figured at first I would try to pull out my pistol and shoot one of those vases that are on the outside. But again, I was a little nervous because he's literally right there. I figured he might see me. Like the, gun, the muzzle flash or something. So I waited a little while and when I finally pulled the trigger, it's like nothing how did he not notice that so I'm looking around just to make sure that Novikov hasn't taken a stage I can't really see him but the the key is that the lights will turn red as long as the runway is still dark and those lights are white you, you, you still have time so I figured I'm just going to throw the explosive over there. Fortunately, this is what saves me. Because this idiot notices. I was going to leave, but then I was like, I'm not sure that the, the duck's in the right place. It's not a proximity explosive, so there's nothing to worry about as long as you don't hit R2. Make sure you take the red duck and not the yellow duck. Now I accidentally toss it over the freaking winch. I always forget how to place things. So I'm just tossing it gently right at the, the base of the winch. And as I'm escaping this guy in front of me that you see the white dot you don't have to worry about because his back's to you and just as I'm crawling away there he goes that's the signal so when I get back in Dahlia's bathroom if the lights are red just look down Make sure you see Sarno. There's the red, the red guy. So that's Sarno, and boom. Now you killed ten people, including Sarno. So uh, this is not a mission that you're really gonna be going for score on. Not that I do that anyway. But you see all these NTKs flashing on the screen and body found notifications all you gotta do is calmly walk out the door run down the stairs I didn't want a chance going to the backyard because that is a trespassing area and these guys are on alert so at that point it's not even about whether or not I get spotted is I don't want to get shot and I realized it after I started almost going out that way So you can run through here, no problem. Everybody's gone. Yeah. 
And that's pretty much it. That's lights out on a promising career, done suit only, and um. It was, I thought it was going to be a little bit challenging. Like the, the hard spots are taking out Sato and worrying about that idiot on the, the scaffolding. That's about it. Once you get past that, you're good. And I thank you guys for watching. Please um, hit that like button. Drop a comment. Subscribe. And as always, join us at RageWorks.net. We have plenty of other great com content if you like MMA, wrestling, video games, film entertainment. We will be broadcasting live when, uh, tonight and tomorrow. That's Wednesday and Thursday. And next week, Hitman goes to Thailand. So expect a whole lot of new videos from us for, on that one. Take care and have a great day, people.